this, this initiative has been going on for a few years. Um, it's a DARPA project, it's called LS3, which stands for Leg Squad Support System. So the LS3 is designed to carry up to 400 pounds. Uh, it's designed to go with a squad when it's doing its uh, squad patrols and to go through different terrains such as uh, mountains as well as hills and through uh, wooded areas. Unlike most of the things that are autonomized now, it's not wheeled. So when you have a wheeled autonomized system, it, it has to stick to a road network. This, due to the fact it can travel through different terrains such as the woods and mountains and hills, it has to be able to articulate with its, with its legs. So just like a human being or a mule, which it's designed after, it can walk. One of the many things that we work on at the Marine Corps Warfighting Lab, it's a, it's a science and technology aspect of it. So we're going to test out the concept of a four-legged mule walking around with a squad. And what we'll do is we'll take the report from that, um, we'll decide on whether or not it's, it's, a, it's a good move for the Marine Corps, and then uh, we'll, we'll push the program along. Eventually, 10 years or so down the road, it's quite possible that there will be a four-legged vehicle walking behind Marines as they control. Mick Will, the Marine Corps Warfighting Lab, uh, is a partner with DARPA in this initiative. We're going to be taking care of uh, the testing of the LS3 and uh, the different terrains. We're going out to Fort Pickett in uh, December. We're going to 29 Palms in March. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running it through its paces, working out the uh, leader-follower aspect of it, as well as uh, waypoint navigation and things like that. One of the concepts that we're going to work out is actually employment, how we plan to get it to a certain site. Uh, it does fit inside of the MV-22. It's not certified for flight yet, but one of the processes of you know, implementation in the future is to get it certified so that it can be flown in. Uh, we'd also transport it via a vehicle that can carry its weight capacity. It weighs 12 to 1,300 pounds, and that will include the 400 pounds that it will carry.